All right, Coach, GLVC champs, tell me your feelings on the game, man. Well, um, you know, it, it, it really was probably exactly what I was thinking all week. It, you know, the more I watched s and and the quality of team they are, I, I've just, I just knew all week this was going to be a battle. I told you in our podcast that I didn't believe that, that loss against Indy. I think they had a bad day because uh, I've watched a lot of their other games. So, um, so we knew it was going to be a battle. Sometimes I don't know if our kids believe us sometimes that it's going to be, uh, be that tight of a game. <laughs> But uh, at the end of the day, we figured out ways to win. That's what this team's been able to do all year is, is make plays when they need to. You guys stepped up in the second half, offense went flying. You guys dominated the third quarter. What was the message at half? So at halftime, you know, we just kind of said, hey, let's start over. Um, I simply, we talked about winning the third quarter. Um, our goal was to win the third quarter, and when the third quarter's over, let's win the fourth quarter, and, and they did just that. Um, you know, we've been behind. We've come from behind. This isn't new. And, uh, and again, there was just a real uh, quiet confidence at halftime. Everybody was in good spirits. We had music jump, jumping around, and uh, they, they just they believe in each other. And so, uh, you know, like I said, we we're going to just take it one plate at a time, one quarter at a time, and, and inch our way back. First OT game we've seen this year. I mean, you, we mentioned as uh, these games keep going, they keep yeah. ending in this fashion, but in good yeah. reason. But the OT uh, finish, I mean, the crowd was on their feet. It was a great atmosphere. Well, we've checked all the boxes, haven't we? We've, we've come <laughs> from behind. We now we've got added overtime. You know, uh, you know, it doesn't get any more exciting than this season. But uh, you know, again, uh, you know, early in the year, you know, we we thought that maybe we were hitting kind of a pivotal part of our season, and and we just. Uh, you know, these guys just decided that we're going to fight and we're just going to keep scrapping, and I just can't be more proud of them. Obviously, exciting time, but you guys aren't done. You got a chance still at postseason stuff. And we do. You got yeah. a big game next week. So, how do you got these guys, like you said, in the post game, kind of talk to your teammates or to your, to your players that, yay, we can enjoy this, but we got to get back down to earth uh, Monday? Yeah, you know, and, and I, I was worried about that this week. I, I felt like we weren't as tight in practice this week uh, or tightened up a little bit in practice. Uh, I thought we were riding a little too high. That worried me a little bit this week, and I think it can be a good lesson because you know we're, you know, it'll be tough. You know, back-to-back -back wins like this, going on the road uh, to a team, you know, Southwest, and you know sometimes it's like, hey, but we have, we just got to preach. We're not there yet. We want to win this thing outright, and we got to get another win to, to be the sole conference champion, not just have a share of it. Something these fans in this this area hasn't seen in a while. Lindenwood Conference Championships. How does it make you feel? Yeah, just just proud of our guys and our coaches. I mean, it's a, it hasn't hit me yet, and, and like I said. TJ, you know me, I, I, I don't want just a share of it. I want us to get back to work and go on the road and, and play a good game on the road next week and not, uh, not leave anything to chance. Coach, thanks for your time. Appreciate you.